welcome back to Derek Watches. I'm Derek. Today we have a gorgeous Seiko SRP D76, the gold case uh, 5KX. This watch is from my customer Jana. Uh, he already put on an aftermarket Crafter Blue strap. I have to agree, this feels like a very premium strap, and I figured out uh, Lone Island watch actually carried them. There will be a link in the video description if you are interested. In this video, we will be modding the crystal, the bezel insert, and the chapter ring. The first step will be removing the straps. Now I will start disassembling the whole watch to able to get to the glass. There are three major differences between the SKX and SRPD. The first one is the spring bar size. The SKX is much thicker than the SRPD. The second is the screw down crown. The third is the crystal gasket. As you can see here, the SKX one is 0.407 mm and the SRPD one is 0.559 mm. If you mix the two, you will have this happen. Just make sure you got the correct crystal gasket. In this step, I'm using a press to insult the crystal. You have to be very cautious in this step or you will damage the crystal gasket which when it deforms, it's trash. You need to get a new one. Or uh, in the worst case scenario, you will shatter the crystal. Uh, which is very bad. So uh, my opinion is you need to press a little, turn around and press even more to get even force all the way. Now we will do a wet water test without the movement inside. I will prefer the case, case back, crown and seal the case up. So why do the water pressure test without the movement? As you just saw, the crystal might blow out. Uh, so we don't want this kind of risk. So we didn't install the movement to do the wet water uh, testing. The main purpose of this test, in my opinion, is test the crystal gasket and the crown. And maybe the case back, because um, after you install the crystal gasket, it's not that obvious to see if there is a crack in the gasket, but it's more obvious to see the, if there is like a defect in the case back gasket. This is the water pressure tester. For this tester, it can test up to 50 meters of water resistance. Now I place the case above water, pump it up to 50 meters of water pressure, leave it there for 10 minutes. If there is a leak in the case, now the air have a chance to seek into the case and balance out the pressure. After 10 minutes, I will drop the watch under water and release the pressure. If we can see a tiny steady stream of bubble coming out of the case, it means the case is not waterproof.
In this step, I will use a hot air gun, aka a hair dryer, to soften the adhesive and remove the bezel insert. Before, I tried lots of different methods like boil in the hot water, uh, submerge it in alcohol, go gone, go off, but this, by far, this is the most easy way to remove it. It can be quite toasty after you use a hot air gun on it. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. I got lots of questions about why using adhesive, not contact cement, or the way around. And actually, as you can see here, Seiko used the 3M adhesive. So my recommendation would just use the 3M double-sided adhesive. After the case is finished, now it's time to join the movement to the case. Here I use a little bit of Mobius 9501 to lubricate the stems so the keyless work will work properly. Before I close the case, I will give it a good clean. This is the Burgeon 6033-1. Uh, we call it the radical. It's very useful. It can pick up parts, absorb oil, and you know, clean stuff like this. In this step, I will install the bezel click spring, the bezel, and the bezel insert. Here I'm using Namoki Yachtmaster style ceramic bezel insert. Namoki's bezel insert always come pre-applied 3M double sided adhesive, very, very handy. I have to thank you Jonna to let me have this opportunity to experience this gold watch. Before I only buy gold watch in vintage. Um, I never buy a gold in modern watch before. After this, I might consider to maybe get some gold watches myself. If you found this video is entertaining and educational, please like the video and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This will help out the channel a lot. There are more videos like this in my channel. Please take your time to watch them all. Thank you for your support. If you have any questions, comment, concern, or you want to order a watch just like this, please write me an email. It is contact at DerekWatches.com. This has been Derek from Derek Watches. I'll see you next time. Bye.